should explain why there hasn't been a new video up in a week. So the reason for that is because I took a break away from YouTube to celebrate my birthday. My friend Celeste came up to visit and we spent the whole week together so I didn't want to spend the entire week like making YouTube videos and using the internet and stuff. Like, I figured that would have been unfair to her to waste the week that she was up here just using the internet and being boring. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do a really quick rundown on things that we did. We went to the SPCA, which is like an animal shelter, then we went to the actual animal care and control place. We went roller skating, we went bowling, we watched a bunch of scary movies. We pretty much drove all over Richmond, Virginia, which is the capital of Virginia. So we did quite a lot of things. It was a lot of fun. In my defense, I did try to film this video before, so that it would be up on the Sunday. But my internet wasn't working, so it wouldn't upload. And it was a time-sensitive video. It talked about like the winners of the giveaway, which I know you all are excited to hear about. And I'm going to put the links to the two winners, I'm going to put their video links down below in the description. So you can check that out. But um, without further ado, I'm going to answer some of the personal questions that I receive in the YouTube comments. Now, when I was choosing the videos, to win the giveaway, I had to look in the comments because I said, hey, comment down below the link to your video so that I could go watch it. Now, I had to go through a lot of comments and it's because I was going through a lot of comments that I decided to make this video because I kept seeing the same questions coming up over and over and over and over and over again. So I decided to finally explain some answers of, of the more personal questions that I get. So. The first question that I'm going to answer is, are you a boy or a girl? Now I answer this question a lot, um, I am neither of those things. I'm not a boy or a girl, I identify as agender, which means that I don't have a gender. I just don't feel it. I just don't feel like I have a gender, so. Another question that I get asked a lot is, what were you born as? Now, asking what were you born as is a pretty offensive question, but I understand what you're trying to ask, so I will just answer it. Um, but before I answer it, I just want to say that the correct way to ask that question is what were you assigned at birth? I was assigned female at birth, which means that I have a vagina. I went through the puberty that made your hips wider rather than your voice deeper. So it's because of that that I don't have a deep voice, which a lot of people comment on. And um, another question, uh, another reason as to why people are so confused as to what my biological sex is, is because I have a flat chest. Now I don't actually have a flat chest. Um, I do have breasts but I wear a binder, and a binder is meant to compress your chest to make your chest look flatter. Um, so I wear that to compress my chest. I get asked a lot about my name. My name that I go by is Chandler, and a lot of people ask me about my birth name. Now you can watch a lot of my old videos um, before I came out as Chandler, a gender transgender, all this other stuff. Before I came out, I still went by my birth name. So if you watch any of my old videos, I say it in those videos. But um, for those of you that are curious, my birth name is Elena. E-L-E-N-A. And um, a lot of people ask questions about me and Peyton. And so I just want to say that I came out as transgender agender when I was 16. But Peyton and I started dating when I was 15. So there was quite a bit of time before 
I came out where we were dating. So she did call me by my birth name and by she, her pronouns. If I wasn't comfortable with my with people knowing what my birth name is, then I would have gotten rid of those videos. With that being said, a lot of people ask me if I hate my birth name. I don't hate it. I think it's a cool name. It was unique. Um, no one ever knew how to spell it or how to pronounce it. <laughs> but um, it just it just doesn't feel like it it belongs to me. It just sounds boring to me. Like if someone says like if someone says my birth name. It sounds like they're talking about someone else. It doesn't sound like they're talking to me. And when people say Chandler, it sounds like they're talking to me. And it's very comforting to me when people call me by Chandler, which is why I go by Chandler. I don't go by Chandler because of the show Friends. <laughs> I actually answered the question, why did you choose the name Chandler, in my first Q&A video. The reason I chose the name Chandler is because when I was in second grade, there was a girl named Chandler, and I absolutely loved her name, and I I just liked the way it sounded, so that's why I took it on as my own name. Another question I get asked a lot that has to go back with um, me being agender is how do I use they, them pronouns as my pronouns? Now, singular they is actually extremely common and for some reason people seem to forget that like you probably use it on a daily basis and then as soon as someone says oh yeah my pronouns are they then everyone gets really confused so I am going to tell a little story that I always use and if you watched me on you know you already know this story but um the story that I always use for um, when people don't know what, like how to use they, them pronouns in the singular form, this is the story that I tell them. Okay. So suppose you are driving your car and you're going down the road and you notice that somebody's following you. And it's dark, you can't really see much, but you know they've been following you for like at least like 10 minutes. They're making every single turn you make, and you just can't get them off your tail. And you can't really see that much about them. You can't really see many details about their face because it's so dark. You can tell that they do have like a small nose, but there's not much more you can see going on with their face. So you can tell that they're wearing sunglasses, so you can't tell what color their eyes are but you know that they've been following you. So that is the story that I use when I explain singular they, them pronouns, and yeah, it's a bit morbid. <laughs> but it's, it's always the one that I go to just because it's so easy to explain. And if you actually look up in dictionaries the definition of they, it's a person of unspecified sex as well as a group of people, so it can be both. It can be plural or singular. Another question I get asked a lot is, how old am I? I just celebrated my 17th birthday. I am 17 years old. I was born August 7th of 1998. So that's cool. I'm one day older than Shawn Mendes. I found that out and I was so excited. <laughs> so, um, if you have any more personal questions, comment them down below in this video and I will answer them. If you ever have any, like, personal questions, please ask them on this video because having all of the other, like, all of the comments like, are you a boy or a girl? What were you born as? Like, having all of those comments, um, clog up all the comments on my other videos, it makes it really hard for me to see like, oh, did people enjoy this video? Should I make more videos like this? So please, if you ever have any questions or anything, you can ask me on Twitter or you can comment down below. So I will answer the questions down below that you have for me. Okay, so I'm going to put the links to the winning videos down below and you can check them out and I will be in contact with the two of you 
that one so that I can get your address and mail the shirt and mail the necklace out to you, finally. And also down below I will leave the links to my Twitter, which I use the most, my Snapchat, which I probably use the second most, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Tumblr. And also, I'll leave the link to my You Now, which I actually did a broadcast while Celeste was here, which was a lot of fun. And you all are extremely awesome because during that broadcast, we went number one on the hashtag YouTuber and we went trending, which is insane. That's awesome. It was my very first broadcast. I was not expecting anything like that. So thank you so, so much. And I will do another one of those soon. All right.